May 20th, 2013, it all started with one simple question. Why can't we have products that supposedly only exist in the sci-fi universe? Why can't we have products that capture imaginations? This is the exact reason why I set out to create Reach Robotics. And now we've developed the Mecha Monsters, the world's first gaming robots, and we're very excited to share them with you. As kids, we all saw these amazing things come to life on the screen, and we decided to develop it. Collectively, the team has been inspired by Dr. Robotnik, Alien, Transformers, WALL-E, Pacific Rim, and loads of manga and anime. The very first Mechamon has lovingly been dubbed Franken Mecha for obvious reasons. Since then, we've created over 39 prototypes. We've developed all the hardware, software, game, app, branding, backstory, characters, and everything else ourselves. We work day and night on holidays, on weekends, in cafes, on planes, on trains, on boats, and automobiles. Basically, anywhere that we could sit and get an internet connection, we've worked. At every stage, we've taken Mechamon out to the public to get reactions. The reaction is overwhelmingly positive. I'll, I'll give you a hand. Oh, I'm right now. Yeah. Yeah. I like it when it sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're actually changing the load. You're actually changing the load. That's cool. What these two guys didn't know was that we had our largest challenge ahead of us yet, manufacturing. The team flew out to China for the first time in 2016. We partnered with an amazing manufacturer and we were off to the races. Check out this conversation had with our project managers in a car ride. Way back to the UK in the car with two very important people. Can you introduce yourself, Hi, please? This is Sharon. This is Sharon. I'm Carrie. And what do you guys do on the project? Yeah, I'm the queen of the project. <laughs> yes, without without Sharon, we wouldn't come this far. No, just kidding. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just trying to organize yeah. the, uh, the uh, different parties, the yeah. engineering, so the purchasing and yeah. the factory, and the customers. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And yourself? Um, I'm just small potato. <laughs> no, <laughs> small potato. No, 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 no. You had the support no. engine of this yeah, project. Yeah, is the most important. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, everything. everything. Yeah, everything. everything. The schedule, yeah. pushing engineering to yeah. uh, uh, get meet the deadline. Yeah. Pushing customer to meet the deadline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like <laughs> us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and do you guys like the project, the Mechamon yeah, project? I like that. I okay. love that. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. With, without you guys, we couldn't have done it. Or oh, we, we couldn't be on the way to doing it. Can you say something about uh, Chris? Chris, Chris. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, very cute. No, that's not like guys. Yeah, very lucky. And crazy, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. But his Chinese is coming along well, right? He's working yeah, hard on the language. It's improving very, very much. Manufacturing takes a long time to set up. Later this month, we'll be posting a How It's Made style video detailing how we manufactured Mechamon. And for now, we'll give you the quick and dirty version. First, plastics. We've done this by using injection molding. It's fast, quick, and it's a very cool process. We have decals on our products, and for this run of Mechamon, we decided to use Tampo printing. It was the best way to implement custom decals in a quick and fast way. At the same time plastics are being made, our PCBs, or printed circuit boards, are being assembled. This means all small and large modules are being attached and tested for quality. Next, it's assembly time. Basically, this step in the process means a lot, a lot of soldering and screwing. And soldering and screwing and more soldering and screwing and more soldering and screwing. You get the idea. Each robot has over 300 parts, and these are very complex machines. For add-ons, such as Fury Rifles, the plastics are sealed by vibrating two individual pieces together at such a high speed, they fuse. And finally comes testing. Chris and John will explain how we personally checked every single Mechamon off the line in this first batch, and how we've tested them. Yeah, it should be. Cool. 
and spin him around quickly. Yep. Yep. So are you testing the compass right now? Uh, the compass and the IR sensors. So we've got four IR sensors. So is this running over here? Yeah. And sending IR this is again? This is sending IR constantly. All okay? Yep, yeah, all okay. Um, so the first thing we do is we go to check all the add-on ports are working. And we check that check the shields that and the legs are communicating properly. Yeah. And, and all, all the shields have been checked already? Yeah, point. all the shields and weapons have been checked already. Um, we also check in the head colour um, to make sure the head is lighting up. There should be a weird purple that's all on white. Um, we check all the legs are firm, but we've already done that, so you won't really see us doing that. And we've checked the Bluetooth, we know the Bluetooth module is working, and we're communicating it. All the robots are currently named, so if you look at the back of them, they all have their extravagant names, kind of emeralds, jade, well, emeralds, what's this one? I'm hoping it's not a weird one. Powerful garnet, teal, wolf. That'll be the, that, that is actually linked to the serial number that's embedded in the robot, um, but they can change the name that they see. Um, you need to connect to it. So, what do you need to do? Uh, you connect it. Yeah. And uh, then, I need to pull and um, spin it around. Yep. 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 Cool. Good. 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 Then transmit it. Yeah. Next comes packaging. Now I won't show you the insides of the box. I don't want to ruin the experience for you, but here's the packaging. Check back at the end of this month to see a video about our experience designing the packaging for Mechamon. In the last four years, we went from this to this, from this to this, and from a team of four to a team of 10 people working to make this a reality. We're excited for the future and for you to join the ranks of Mecha pilots across the world. Thank you for all the continued support, and subscribe to our channel to get updates of when we post new content. Thank you!